Hi, hope all of you are doing absolutely well and taking care of yourself. Today I come with a very royal recipe, the mutton akbari or the gosht akbari. This Mughlai dish is taken from the times of King Akbar. In ancient times, kings used to enjoy the taste of royal cooking from their top class chefs. This style of cooking is quite different, but believe you me, when the recipe will finally be ready, it will be absolutely mouth-watering. Ingredients required to make mutton akbari are 1 kg freshly washed mutton, 2 medium-sized tomatoes roughly chopped, 3 to 4 onions finely chopped, I will be cooking my mutton akbari in pure ghee, so approximately I will be using 80 grams of ghee. I have some other masalas or spices that I would like you to take across. Red chilli and salt according to taste. 1 spoon turmeric powder. 1 spoon cumin seeds or jeera, garam masala, one spoon. Here I can show you I have a paste of ginger and garlic. So approximately I use three to four pods of garlic and about an inch of ginger which I ground in the machine and I have made a powder of it. If you see this, this is basically almond powder or badam powder. What I did was I soaked about 15 to 20 badams in hot water, skinned them out and then ran, ran them through with the machine. This is a fine paste of poppy seeds which is also going to add a lot of flavor to our mutton akbari. Kevra water to give that fragrance and the color. This as you can see is a special masala made for the mutton akbari. This consists of 10 cloves, 10 pepper, a small nutmeg, a stick of cardamom, 10 to 15 red chilies or according to how much you can take. I have roasted the masalas all together and then grinded them into my fine powder. So we will be using this also in our mutton akbari. We are using a juice of a lemon and approximately 3 to 4 green chilies solid. But you can skip them off if you think that we have already added a lot of chilies into our mutton akbari. This dish can be made into a dry or into a shawarma form. I will be making it into a dry uh, recipe. So let's get started. We will heat our karai till it is slightly warm and then to that we will be adding our ghee. Because this recipe is a royal recipe, so the quantity of the ingredients including the ghee is slightly high but you can make it with little less ghee or with oil as well as your convenience. As the ghee will become a little hot, to that we will be adding our cumin seeds. Let them crackle a bit. The cumin seeds have started crackling. To this I will now be adding the ginger and garlic paste. Stir it for about a minute till the rawness of the ginger and garlic disappear. I will also be using around 80 grams of curd to our recipe which I forgot to show you. To our ginger garlic paste and cumin seeds we will now be adding our onions. And we will stir and cook our onions till they become transparent in color. While our onion is cooking I will also be adding some green chilies to add on the flavor to the onions. 
So you can see that our onions are changing their color. So now to this I will be adding our tomatoes. And we will cook till our tomatoes become smooth and almost into a paste form. Here you can even use the tomato paste or the puree of a tomato to make it faster. At this stage I will keep the flame medium and I will be adding some coriander leaves which will release their flavor into our tomato and onion base. The onions tomatoes have blended off very well. To this now I will be adding all my dry spices. Salt quantity please keep it according to your taste level. I will also be adding juice of a lemon here. My gravy is cooking very well and it's really changing its color through the way as I want it. To this I'm now going to be adding my poppy seeds. curd and as we add the curd we have to immediately stir and mix it well so that the earth the curd doesn't curdle you can even add some cream to make it little more flavorful and rich in taste i will now be adding the badam or the almond paste you can make it into a powder form the way I have done it or you can make it into a paste also adding a little bit of water to your mixture. And now we will cook this in low flame for about 5 to 10 minutes and then add our mutton. Till our gravy is not completely cooked and absolutely ready for the next process, I will now be adding the kevra water and the special meat masala or the mutton akbari masala that we have prepared. Stir it very well. If you want you can add a little bit of water at this stage but I think the tomato and other ingredients have released enough juices so I don't see the need of adding any more water to this. My gravy is thick and just the way as I am looking forward to it. I have added the mutton to my gravy and now I am going to just cook it without putting on the lid or adding on anything else to this. For about 5 to 10 minutes we will just cook it this way and then add water as much as we require and dump the mutton akbari till it is tender and ready to be served. Mutton Akbari is absolutely looking delicious. It is absolutely ready. There is a slight gravy also there which you can have it with rice. I am serving some other things like salad, some sweet dishes and a papar to go along with our Mutton Akbari. The Royal Mutton Akbari. Do try this great recipe and share your feedback. And let me know if there are any suggestions I would always like to follow. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.